Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I move to strike the last word. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I want to speak in direct opposition to this offensive and needless resolution. It ignores the real problems, both in schools and with our immigration system. It's factually and morally wrong to operate on the assumption that an asylum seeker or migrant, typically people of color, are dangerous. A resolution based on that premise endangers people in our own communities who have faced spikes in hate crimes and racially motivated violence. Shelter needs are increasing across the country, and as Ranking Member Scott said, schools as community centers are regularly used as temporary shelters during natural disasters and other incidents. Instead of condemning communities that provide temporary shelter to those in need, who are often desperate parents trying to save the lives of their children, this committee should be working on evidence-based policies to make schools safer, but that's not happening. Unfortunately, the culture wars many of my colleagues are waging target and ostracize the most vulnerable students. Republicans in state legislatures and unfortunately many of my colleagues on this committee have been promoting policies that harm students, deny them an opportunity to get a good education with their efforts to ban the accurate teaching of history and silence the voices of underrepresented artists and authors. Many of our Republican colleagues on this committee are actually putting LGBTQI plus students in danger by banning them from equal participation in school activities, denying them the opportunity to receive the care they need and deserve, and weaponizing federal civil rights laws against them. Also, this resolution actually states that hosting asylum seekers or migrants on school property, quote, poses a significant safety risk to school children. What's the real significant safety risk to school children? It's the number one killer of kids, firearms. Rather than advancing this misguided legislation, we should hold a hearing on the continued gun violence and the attacks on students in their classrooms. Our words and actions in this room matter. And I'm concerned that this bill may spark more hatred and violence toward migrants and people seeking asylum while doing absolutely nothing to improve education or safety. If my Republican colleagues wanna make our schools safer for students, I invite them to come to the table to work on substantive and evidence-based solutions. Migrant students and the children of, of asylum seekers, of course, under Plyler versus Doe, are entitled to attend school. They're often vulnerable, targeted, and underserved in our schools. We should provide them with the resources and support they need, not only to survive, but to be successful, and this resolution gravely misses the mark. I want to remind everyone that immigrants are our colleagues, our neighbors, our friends, our families, and our community members, and our constituents. I strongly urge my colleagues to oppose this resolution, and I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, Ms. Bonamici.